I do not know why I am here, guys. Woke up this morning, I was like, hey, let's go to Times Square today. It will be fun, it won't be that bad. Times Square is the worst place in New York. I'd rather go hang out in the Bronx all day than go to Times Square. But they do have a couple sneaker stores in Times Square that I wanted to check out, because since it's such a big location, who knows, they might get some random restocks or some idiot tourist might return a pair of shoes that could just randomly pop back up on the shelf. This video, as always, is brought to you by Snups. It's one of my favorite apps out there. You can like list your entire sneaker collection, cl connect with other sneakerheads, and of course, you guys know that I put my weekly sneaker rotations up on there, and I'm also gonna be making a shelf of sneakers that I see in NYC when I've been out here all week. So if you guys wanna go follow me, there's a link down in the description for that to download the app. I'd really recommend it. This new champion hoodie is so fire. Picked this up yesterday at Urban Outfitters. I just stopped by another Urban Outfitters and they had a purple one. Whew, so nice. If I don't pick up a pair of shoes today, I might have to go back and get that. But we are at Foot Locker right now. Last time I was in this Foot Locker, an employee recognized me and wanted to be in the vlog and then his manager almost fired him. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Okay, this has to be one of the ugliest shoes of all time, both in colorway and model. Little Brown 14 Low is just a terrible shoe. And then I do like pink, but not this. Not this. It just, the color on this model makes it one of the ugliest shoes I've ever seen Nike put out. And that's saying something because Nike's put out some bad shoes. Lots of great shoes, but this is terrible. <laughs> There is literally nothing in there. Like there's GR Ultra Boost, there's those up tempos which I actually tried on and look amazing. There is still some hope though. There's a Champ Sports over there that we're gonna go check out. I've never really seen anything decent in there in the past. Lots of you guys always ask me what the best sneaker stores in New York are. I'd say flat out just completely avoid Times Square. It's absolutely terrible, not only because there's no sneakers, tourists everywhere and there's crazy homeless people in Disney costumes trying to get you to take pictures with them. Okay, scratch that. There's absolutely nothing at Adidas either. That was terrible. Midtown is my least favorite place to sneaker shop. And I'm around here a lot, so I know the good place is the bad place, but lots of you guys ask me, what is the best sneaker store in New York City? And I figured this is the perfect time to give you a list of where I would recommend you guys go. All right guys, what is the best sneaker store in New York City? Now that's a big question, because New York is a big city and there are a lot of sneaker stores in it. And I feel the question has to be answered in categories. It can't just be an emphatic this one store is the best sneaker store in New York City. So I'm gonna give you guys a few different options, a few different categories, the do's and don'ts. If you're looking for a certain type of sneaker or a certain price range of sneaker, where you want to go. I've done a lot of sneaker shopping in this city and tons of you guys come here on vacation and wanna know the best place to go. So if I can help a couple of you guys out, I definitely wanna go for that. So if you're coming to New York for the first time and you wanna see like the crazy hyped up sneakers, the elaborate store setups, just the sheer awe factor of New York sneaker shopping. I'd say the places you wanna go are definitely Flight Club first and foremost, and then Stadium Goods. Those are both in Manhattan. Flight Club is like on 12th and Broadway or something like that, and then Stadium Goods is just off Mercer Street. Those are the two biggest consignment stores in the city, and everyone knows about them. They're super hyped up. The prices, though, are a little bit ridiculous. So sure, you're gonna see all of the new, every single, Everything that released in the past 18 months pretty much, it's gonna be there, it's probably gonna be in your size, but it's gonna be ridiculously expensive. So if you wanna see all the crazy new Yeezys and the new NMDs or Flight Club, I did a $100 challenge at both of those this week and we actually did find some good stuff for cheap, but by and large, everything is very, very expensive at these stores. They're marked up because of the name, because they know they can charge that much. Now, if you're looking for some more hyped up shoes, still a pretty cool vibe of a shop, 
but you wanna get a more reasonable, close to actual online market value price, my recommendation would be head over to Image NY. That's in Queens. I think it's in Flushing, actually. I don't know if Flushing is a part of Queens. It's a couple minutes away from where the Mets play, if that helps you guys out a little more. But yeah, it has all the hyped up stuff you guys are looking for. It also has a lot of unique Jordans and Nike basketball kicks, and it's all for a really good price. If you guys are looking for a chill spot with really good customer service that just makes you feel at home, I'd say Stadium Goods is another good option for that category as well. As we said, it is expensive. And then Rare Pair is my favorite sneaker spot in Manhattan. It's on the corner of Mulberry and Houston. Just in terms of how welcoming they are, how nice the staff is there. The first time I ever went in there, they opened up the glass cases for me to look at all the expensive shoes. They let me stay after hours after the store had closed just to sort of just vlog, check it out, interact with the guys that own the shop. They are super nice dudes and it's a really cool, it's a tiny hole in the wall. We took a look at it already. So that's all the resale and consignment stores that I enjoy going to in New York. But if you wanna shop retail, you wanna shop for the new release that came out last week, I'd say first off, avoid Times Square, avoid Fifth Avenue. Those things suck. Nike store is a waste of time on Fifth. Adidas is a waste of time on Fifth. If you wanna to go to a Nike store, you're going to Nike Soho, which I believe is on, I think it's on Canal and Broadway. I may be mistaken on that though. You wanna to go to Adidas on Houston and Broadway. You wanna to go to Foot Locker on 34th Street. Foot Locker on 34th actually gets tons of random restocks and they'll also put out stuff before its actual release date. So in terms of the big box store, the huge chains, I'd say stick to those options right there. If you wanna to go to a little smaller boutique type thing, Kith is an amazing option as well because they're gonna have, you know, they're gonna have the Nike release, they're gonna have the Adidas Ultra Boost that just came out, but they also have some really awesome clothing, whether it be the Kith branded clothing or some stupidly expensive off-white and stuff like that. And of course, they do have the off brands. They're gonna have really weird European sneakers you've never heard of. They're gonna have more expensive designer sneakers that cost 800 bucks. I'm not buying them, but I enjoy looking at them. I'm probably forgetting a couple of stores that I really enjoy going to as there is a whole bunch in the city. But those would be my ones that if you're in the city for a week or a couple weeks or even a couple days, definitely make sure to go hit those. If you're interested in doing some sneaker shopping in the city, I'd say those would be the best spots. We had literally zero success in Midtown. I thought we'd head back down to Soho to one of my favorite spots that I was actually just talking about. We're gonna go check out Stadium Goods again. Now yeah, I was just there a couple days ago and you're like, Ray Ray, why are you going to the same store two times in one? There used to be right here. Actually, hop onto my Instagram. Right here there was like the coolest mural it said something really powerful about motivation and doing something meaningful every day. I forget what it was, but they painted it over. Come on, New York City, how are you gonna do that? You know, surprisingly, one of the OG Jordans that I somehow don't have in my collection is the Shadows right here, and I wanted to peep how much these are going for. They're 650 in a size eight, but sometimes eight is even more expensive than my size. So I'll see what they're going for. It's still really, really expensive. There's rumors that they're gonna be re-releasing and whatnot, but I'll ask how much they're going for, and then also, Oh my goodness, I saw those at Kith, so they are starting to hit stores. I saw those at Kith last night after I had stopped filming, and these are a beautiful pair of sneakers. I love these things, just great looking pair of sneakers. And the wings, yeah, still haven't figured out how to lace those ones up. I know, it's bad, it's bad. Are these the MTMs? Judging by the $850 price tag, those are, and those are sick. I, I hate coming here and looking at the Jordan wall, because like, I want that, I want that, I want that that like every pair of classic Jordans that I don't have in my collection, I just wanna buy, except they're all so expensive and I don't wanna spend $25,000 on shoes, so I end up just coming here and regretting coming here because I wanna spend so much money, but I can't spend so much. It's a struggle. First world problem? Maybe. Is it still a problem? Yes. I'm gonna keep it 100% honest with you. I don't know what this colorway is. It's $425, so I'm assuming it's something. Maybe a OSU colorway? Probably not, but it's probably some sort of collaboration or something, or maybe it's a sample. I don't really know, I've never seen these before, but just seeing these now, they look really, really dope. And then, do you know how mad I am that I passed on these? These are sitting on Adidas Canada for the longest time ever, for retail, except it was like, 220 is a lot of money to spend on a shoe that I've never tried before. And now they're going for $400. So, if you have the opportunity to buy them, 220 Canadian was retail, 180 American. I passed on them. 
I am an idiot, because look how nice these are. The 1.0 triple whites, even though there's black on the bottom, amazing pair of kicks. Hey, I wasn't feeling the prices that they had for my size 12 on the shoes that I was looking for. What's up, man? Vlogging, what's I'm up? Vlogging. I hope I'll make the video. You're in the video. the video. Yeah! Yo. Tom the type of dude to wear a hoodie in the shower. Tom the type of dude to wear a hoodie at a nude beach. Tom the type of dude to wear a hoodie at Kais's wedding. I love these, these are hilarious, you guys are amazing. What I need you guys to do, I think this would be so funny. Everyone tweet, Instagram message, champion. Tell them to sponsor. I've created a meme off of me wearing champion hoodies every single day. I've had a whole bunch of you guys tell me that you enjoy wearing them as well and that you've tried them out because of my videos. I love these things. Hit up Champion on Twitter, be like, yo, my boy Tom, Ray Ray, he's been rocking your Champion hoodies for months on end. He's never actually taken them off. They're glued to his body. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys, every single one of you, from the bottom of my heart. Make sure to check out all those spots we talked about today when you're in New York City going sneaker shopping. I'm thinking about doing a pop-up in New York next month, September. So that could be pretty cool. I'm not sure where we're gonna be doing it yet. But anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. So until then, peace.